This is Dr. Quest. Well, of course I do. Well, I'm glad to hear that. It has been a long time. Back in 1964, and you had a television set, chances are you wanted to be Johnny Quest. Neither Joe Barbera nor William Hanna started out to be animators. Hannah studied engineering and journalism and out of college worked as a structural engineer until the depression left him unemployed. He turned to cartooning and went to work for Leon Schlesinger as a coffee boy who pushed a broom and wiped animation cells. He also got to offer story ideas and in 1937 was hired by MGM as a director and story man in their cartoon department. Barbera, a New Yorker who aspired to be a boxer, was a Wall Street bank teller who sketched and doodled in his spare time until he sold one of his cartoons to Collier's Magazine and in 1937 moved out to Hollywood to join the MGM Animation Department within weeks of William Hanna being hired there as well. Joe Barbera and William Hanna began collaborating as an animation team in 1938. Over the next decade, the team created over a hundred Tom and Jerry cartoons for theaters and received no less than seven Academy Awards for their work. By 1955, they were co-heads of MGM's animation unit. They remained there until the advent of television brought the animation division to a close in 1957. The movie cartoon business was dead, Bill Hanna said. The only alternative for animation was television. But everyone they talked to said the same thing. Animation was too expensive for TV. In desperation, the team created what they called planned animation. When a character talked, only his mouth would move, meaning only the mouth and lower jaw would need to be redrawn for each frame. Bodies, arms, legs, anything that didn't need to move could be one still image for the entire shot, and only the things that needed to move in that frame would have to be added. Talking heads, blinking eyes, or if someone needed to shake hands, only the parts that did the shaking would need to be redrawn. The result was a seven minute cartoon that only needed 2,000 drawings, where the average Tom and Jerry cartoon, done in full animation, would require 14,000 drawings for the same seven minutes. 